Hello, if your car pops out of gear, I'll give you a quick explanation why. These assemblies, this assembly, we'll pull these bearings out, they're not important. I'll show you where all this sits and I'll give you an explanation why it pops out of gear. So this is a gearbox. There is the same sets of uh, tooted gears for each gear. So it's first, second, third, fourth and very nicely the fifth one is here on the top and i'll show you now what can be on your gearbox now you can have a shaft play so if your shaft moves up and down easily you can see here there is some some fluctuation but it's not a lot yeah and here as well but here it's absolutely solid so it's very little so if you have a lot that can be the reason. Now let's move back to the table. Now, a few very important questions that you need to ask yourself is, does your car pops out of gear when you decelerate? So when you're actually stopping, is it coming out of gear when you're accelerating? Uh, did you had recently bought the car? Did you had recently changed the gearbox or did you recently had any repair done on the car? If you had the last three, it could be mechanics fault because it's very easy when you assemble something. So this one is incorrectly assembled. If somebody assembled this incorrectly and just put it the opposite way around because you can, yeah, this should make the gearbox pops out of gear. Now, the way the whole thing works is this and this this is going to your tires and this is coming from the engine this one constantly rotates and this constantly rotates this one the way there is like a clutch if we imagine that this is the clutch this one sits here and moves all the time okay so when this one is moving like this the engine is running you're going on fourth gear if you switch to fifth gear they need to start moving at the same time okay when you're not in fifth gear, this one was like that, okay? And this here is called synchronizer ring. So this one can, can rotate in a different speed compared to the both rings. Can you see? So it just rotates in whatever it wants pattern. Now, what can be worn? First thing, can you see that mark here? So you can have wear onto the tooth on the pulleys. Yeah. So you can have wear, too much wear on these two will pop it out of gear because of heat and whatnot. But most most of the time is these tooth right here. If they're worn down, like up to here or up to there, it will pop out of gear. By the way, wear gloves when you're touching these oily parts. I'm not wearing them just for the video, but I highly recommend wearing gloves, yeah? This thing is cancerogenic. You don't want to get cancer because you're touching oily parts. Now, if there is too much wear, if there is too much wear, here is getting a little bit too much play and it will pop out of gear. It will start slipping and eventually we'll just get out and spin out of it, yeah? So, too much wear in this area will get your slip ring. So this is everything that's engaging in the gear. Like that is disengaged, like this is engaged. Disengage, engage. So look how much, how little is actually holding you in gear. You want to be all good and nice into place, yeah? So if you have too much play, if you have too much play, it will pop out of gear. This is what I'm talking about. This is opposite, yeah? This is, uh, if somebody assembled it like this, it will pop out of gear because the metal will expand and push it out and it will pop you out of gear when it, the gearbox heats up. So it's all about enough room for everything and no, not too much there and not too much tight 
so yeah now let's assemble the whole thing and let me show you this on the inside if there is too much play it will also uh, synchronizer if it's worn can you see these little ridges if it's worn it will have too much play like this it should be nice and snug into play because when when it can feel when it feels that the whole thing is locked yeah it will actually get into place yeah and it will help the whole thing retain in gear so if you have too much wear onto the ring on the synchronizer and onto the ridges here it will uh, pops out of gear now let's assemble the whole thing and i'll show you also here if you have too much wear you see if it's shiny it's too much and you need to do something about it so let's uh, just quickly assemble the whole thing uh, where did this one go um which one i needed i needed this one yeah so just like that okay so here again grab it if you have too much play this side like this or this one like this it's also a reason for the gearbox so it pops out of gear look you can put it in either way i did that mistake so that's why i'm making the video let's just put this to inside So now you can see it engaged perfectly there is not too much play into the synchronizer ring and you can see now if the main shaft is rotating this whole thing rotates and they can rotate uh, in a different speed yeah but when you go to fifth gear what actually happens this force that sits here and you should not have too much play in it as well so if there is too much play this direction this direction or this direction it will also pop out of gear so when the thing goes and connects like this yeah did you saw it's actually locked and the whole thing rotates together you can see and it just goes pops out of gear this one rotates this one rotates and in one moment it locks so if you have anywhere on any of these components they need to be changed or the gearbox needs to be replaced and now you can see why i said if you have bought the car recently someone may have tried to do a repair on it if you had any repair then someone may not assemble something even though it should be assembled and usually it's high mileage and not changing the oil in the gearbox the problem So that's for that explanation. I hope it's been helpful to you. I'll just put it together so I can save it. This, these are good components, they don't pop out of gear. So good. I hope this video is helpful. I'll see you on to the next one. Bye bye.